The story surgeon is back with penmanship like a scalpel. I checked out the sales of Boruto's manga and I was surprised. I've been bringing up first week sales in a few of my videos recently and one of the trends I noticed is that all manga sales rise and fall. However, Boruto sales are different. They immediately started falling off and only had a brief recovery in volume 13 before falling off again. Even the anime airing had no observable effect on the sales. This can only mean one thing. I was right. In my video titled, What Went Wrong? I listed all of the issues I had with Boruto and these declining sales proved that I was right. Continuing a story that had ended was a bad idea. Being a sequel would mean creating new conflicts for a story that had already resolved the biggest conflicts. The power balancing would also be terrible since the characters from Naruto had escalated so much. The sequel also allowed for negative changes and retcons to the story. Boruto would also struggle living up to Naruto's quality. It will always be compared to his predecessor. Boruto deciding to focus on the new generation was also a terrible idea, especially since the new cast was weaker. The plot also sadly bends over backwards to let the new cast solve major conflicts when the adults could logically handle it without their help. This leads to the old gen getting nerfed, which is disrespectful to the characters and the audience. Then Boruto tries to rehash Naruto's ideas and does it worse. The main characters are either carbon copies or bizarro versions of their parents. Finally, Boruto is written worse than Naruto in total. You should watch my video on how I do a Naruto sequel instead. It's titled Naruto Sequel Ideas. But why was there a slight rise for volume 13? This volume is when Naruto and Sasuke are fighting Ishiki, and in the final chapter, 51, Naruto uses Baryon mode while saying that he'll die if he uses the form. Such a large event as the protagonist of the prequel dying probably drew viewers back, but of course, the manga backtracks on this and just kills Kurama instead. In conclusion, Boruto's sales have been on a constant decline because the story is bad for all of the reasons I listed out, but Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest follows the same trend, a constant decline. Fairy Tale ended in July 2017 and 100 Year started in July 2018, a year later. Naruto ended in November 2014 and Boruto started in May 2016, which is between 1 and 2 years later. Maybe starting a direct sequel to a story that ended less than 2 years ago is why the sales have been falling from the start. Maybe fans haven't been given enough time to want more content. Maybe because they are extensions of the original rather than an entirely new story, they carry on the fall that all manga experience. Now nah, that can't be it. It's just cause the stories suck for all of the reasons I listed and my opinion is objectively correct. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.